we will need to find the IP address of your target device. I already know my Metasploitable device IP address by running an ifconfig, but if you were brand new to the network, most likely you would run an nmap scan of the network to list all of the devices. Here I am just logging into the Metasploitable VM via PuTTY and using the command line to show the IP address. In one of my previous videos on this channel, I have shown how to run nmap and it is a great tool for interrogating a device, subnet or entire network. Now, we are going to start the NIC2 scan. The CLI command for the NIC2 scan is actually pretty easy. It involves typing the NIC2 command, followed by the minus host flag, lastly followed by the IP address of the device you are scanning. The scan takes a little while, depending on what it finds, but the results are very important. There is actually a much better way of running the scan and saving the results. If we do what we did in the last section and run the same scan, but after the IP address, type in a forward arrow and the name of the file you are going to output to, this will store the information in the file and you can review later. Run the ls command to see it has been saved. You can now open the file that was stored in your local directory. This shows the output of the NIC2 scan, which is useful as you can archive this and recall at a later date. For now, we will review the contents. We are going to be looking for messages about outdated software and CVE numbers. The first very important message is that the version of Apache running on this server is out of date and vulnerable to attack. This will need immediate patching. If we scroll down further, we can see a CVE number which is very important and we can research this vulnerability in the common vulnerabilities and exploits database. If we copy this and head over to the Tenable website and go to the forward slash CVE page, you can search for the that CVE number. Paste it in and it will show the vulnerability and how critical it is with a CVE score. This is high and therefore critical, so click on the link and it will show you some more details, such as a description of the vulnerability and how to, to remediate. In this case, it gives you a link to Microsoft and a potential fix or upgrade. In this section, we are going a slightly different route and scanning the same device, but using nmap. The results of an nmap scan are more thorough, and in this example with the minus A flag, we are scanning for literally everything about this device, including OS, open ports and vulnerabilities. With the greater than sign being used, we are going to output the results to an external file again, for review and archiving. It will take a little while to run, but the results are worth waiting for. When you run the ls command, it will show the previous NIC2 scan and the recent nmap scan results as text files. To see the results of the nmap scan results on the fly, just use the cat command and it will appear on the screen. There is loads of information on here, results that we can use as a pen tester to find a weakness and resolve that issue. If you also want to see the stored results in the text file, you can navigate to the home directory and just click on the file, as you would any file to open. The output is there and this is useful as you can share this information with colleagues and the client, if you have to, in a report. As the results are different from NIC2, we are going to use a different exploit database provided by an app called Searchsploit, which can be sourced from GitHub. This is a quick way of searching for exploits from the nmap scan we have just run. The open ports shown in the scan and subsequent versions of applications is gold to a pen tester. We can take the version number and application name, in this case VSFTPD 2.3.4, copy this and then via the use of the search splite on your CLI, paste it in and it will show a list of associated vulnerabilities. As we scroll through the output from the scan, we can see the Apache version that requires patching. We can see another open port with its application, Samba 3.0.20, for NetBIOS. Go back over to search boot and run a search on this and you can see, again it is vulnerable as there are potential remote code executions. Get this patched or updated accordingly. So as you can see, this is the beginning of how you run reconnaissance and vulnerability testing with devices on your network. Thank you for watching this video today on pen testing with NIC2 and Nmap. These are foundation techniques on your cybersecurity journey. If you found this video useful, like, share and subscribe to our channel today.